Dear students, please note down the PDF file of all these notes have been uploaded in the description of video lecture. Please download your notes. Dear students, today we will discuss reproductive system of fasciola hepatica. In today's lecture, dear students, we will cover the male reproductive system. As we know, the fasciola hepatica, the liver fluke, it is hermaphrodite, it is bisexual, it is monoecious. It means both male and female reproductive systems are united. Dear students, today we will cover male reproductive system. And that male reproductive system of fasciola involves following parts. A pair of testes. A pair of vessa deferentia. This small S-shaped structure. It is seminal vesicle. And a single tubular prostatic duct or pars prostatica. This one is the copulatory organ. It is penis or serous. And these are large number of unicellular glands. In male reproductive system, these are prostate glands. This one is the common genital aperture, common chamber, or it is common genital atrium. And in this atrium, both apertures, male and female genital apertures or gonopores open. And this sheath-like structure, it is named serous sheath or pouch, serous pouch. Now, we will discuss all these parts in detail. First of all, we will discuss testes. In male reproductive system of liver fluke, these are a pair of highly branched tubular structures which are tandemly arranged. Their arrangement is tandem as these are asymmetrical in position. This one is the, this anterior testis, it occupies almost middle part of the body. It represents left testis. And in this posterior region of the body, this posterior testis, it represents right testis. It means both right and left testis are asymmetrical in position. And the lining of each testis having germinal epithelium. It means the lining of these testis which is made up of simple cuboidal epithelium, which acts as germinal epithelium as it gives rise male germ cells, the spermatozoa, by the process of spermatogenesis. Means these testes are male gonads, which give rise male gametes, spermatozoa, by the process of spermatogenesis. From these testes, a pair of fine ducts, whitish in color, and these ducts are named vesa deferentia. These vesa deferentia carry the male gametes, the spermatozoa, by peristaltic action. And these vesa deferentia open in this sac-like structure. It is seminal vesicle. This structure is, it is seminal vesicle. Means, this is the third part of male reproductive system. First, a pair of testes, which are irregular, which are highly branched. These are tubular structures. And these testes are lined by germinal epithelium. That epithelium gives rise male gametes, spermatozoa, and these spermatozoa are carried via these fine tubular ducts, vesa deferentia, by the action of peristalsis. 
the sperms are stored here in this structure it is almost s shaped structure which acts as a sac chamber in which sperms get stored dear students this s shaped structure it is seminal vesicle or it is vesiculum seminalis from this seminal vesicle the sperms are carried via this duct and this duct is prostatic duct or it is pars prostatica which is almost twisted quired tubular structure and this prostatic duct gets surrounded by large number of unicellular glands and these glands are prostate glands dear students the prostate glands secrete an alkaline medium and that medium helps in the motility of sperms to increase the sperms motility this prostatic duct carries the sperm and it runs through this male copulatory organ and in this male copulatory organ penis or serous the prostatic duct is named as ejaculatory duct and this ejaculatory duct opens in this common chamber this common chamber is genital atrium and this genital atrium possesses both apertures this one is male gonopore and this aperture is female gonopore and dear students the copulatory organ in male reproductive system this one is this is penis or serous it is highly protrusible which acts as copulatory organ in case of male fasciola this one this one is the serous sheath it is dear students serous pouch and this thin walled pear shaped structure is which is a thin membrane pear shaped membrane that encloses that covers the penis or serous and prostate glands as well as the prostatic duct and seminal vesicle it means the serous sheath encloses seminal vesicle the prostatic duct the prostate glands and the male copulatory organ the serous penis and this common chamber is it is genital atrium which possesses both apertures male gonopore and female gonopore and it opens in the ventral side of the body just in front of posterior sacrum acetabulum dear yes, student this one is the oral sacrum and just near the opening of this genital atrium the posterior sacrum or acetabulum is there on the ventral side this is all about the male reproductive system of liver fluke that comprises a pair of testes which are highly branched these are tubular structures and their lining is simple cuboidal epithelium which gives rise male gametes by spermatogenesis and the spermatozoa are carried via these fine ducts white structures tubular structures due to peristaltic action from these testes sperms are carried in this seminal vesicle and this seminal vesicle which is almost s shaped sac chamber in which sperms get stored then the sperms are carried via this prostatic duct and this one is the male copulatory organ which is penis or serous 
this prostatic duct runs through this male copulatory organ now it becomes ejaculatory duct and the ejaculatory duct opens in this common genital chamber or it is atrium and that atrium receives both apertures male gonopore and female gonopore and this genital aperture common aperture atrium it op it opens on the ventral side of body just in front of acetabulum dear student this is all about male reproductive system of fasciola in tomorrow's lecture we will discuss female reproductive system thank you